Here at the friendly confines, Wrigley Field, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Chicago Cubs. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Chris, one of the elite power bats in the game featured in the lineup today. He is a must-see at bat. Yeah, Boog, it's like he's playing pepper with the outfield fence. He lives in the gaps and can hit the ball over the fence as well. Just puts on a show, an offensive display when he steps in the batter's box. Just about to get underway and on the hill for the Cubs, Justin Steele. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And that one lifted in the air center field. Crow Armstrong should have it. Makes the catch for the out. Not second, the designated hitter, Jose Ramirez. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's Jose Ramirez. Next pitch is outside. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. That's off the mark. And now three balls and a strike. And here it comes. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, the and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard John like he did right there. Naylor. Runner on at first with one gone, and now it's Josh Naylor. Left-hand hitter waits. And it's strike two. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. 3-2. He goes That's off speed. Gets the out. Ramon Loriano. Here's Ramon Loriano. Here comes a pitch. Yeah. <laughs> Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at Wrigley Field, and today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Bottom of the first. So up now for Chicago, Pete Crow Armstrong. The center fielder. Pete Crow Armstrong. Now all even up. Got him. One away. Christopher Morrell, the next Cub to hit. One down, base is empty. There's a swing and a miss. Here's a fun fact on Lucas Giolito. He and his former high school teammate Max Fried both will take a scouting report the night before their start and then go through it by playing MLB The Show. And a good eye there. It's a good take. Got him swinging. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, 
Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing Whoa. with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Two one now. And that's in for a strike. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Two outs. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Top of the second. So in now for Cleveland, Oscar Gonzalez. Oscar. Gonzalez. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, okay. even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. And a pitch. Got him. And that's the first out. That is it. Here's Brian Rocchio. Brian Rocchio. And there's a ball. Up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. One gone runner at first. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And a pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Second inning here, no score. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Swing and a miss. Third out, and that ends the frame. Guardians leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's Alexander Canario. Canario. Towards first. Can't field it cleanly. Flip to the pitcher oh, is in time. He keeps his composure and they get the out. No left field. Number 40. And up next for Chicago, number 40. 1-1 one, one now. That's Good eye right there.
swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Naylor puts the squeeze on that one. Out number two. Batting six. The third baseman. And next for the Cubs, Patrick Wisdom. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. The one, two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Cubs are down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. On to the third inning, and now the rookie second baseman, Jose Tena. Jose Tena. Check swing. He held up. Three and one. And now it's filled up. Back to work. Three two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Left hand batter waits. And there's nope. ball four. ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. Fly out his first time. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. He's got it. And there's one away. Now it's Jose Ramirez. And he's already singled in this game. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Now snap throw to first. Tenna gets back easily. Top of the third, no score. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One and two here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's Josh Naylor. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And now the lefty spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. And the runner holds. 2 2 now to 22. Runner on the goal. And a pitch. Bounce to the right. And that's just foul. And the pitch. Swing at a ball popped up. Morrell moving under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Nothing across on no hits, no errors, and one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Jared Young digs Lead in now. For the Cubs, the first baseman, Jared Young. Check swing went around, and the count's even at two. Rips one to right. He's got it. And there's one down. 
batting in the catcher. And now it's Miguel Amaya. Amaya. The wind of the pitch. Hey. One ball, two strikes. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. One, two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Now here is Miles Mastroboni. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next one misses, and the count is two and two. Curve, hit right back to him. And that is the inning. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And we're still knotted at zero. Start of the fourth. Now the four hole hitter for the Guardians, Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano. Swings and misses. Now one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swings and misses struck him out. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. The pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The one two. That's down and in. Two two down. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. And that's ruled a swing, it's a strikeout. The batter, Ryan Rocchio digs in for the Guardians. Ryan Reached on an infield Rocchio. single his first time. At the belt and fires. And misses Whoa, inside. Yeah. Foul ball. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Line the other way. That's a fair ball and down the right field line and towards that corner. Canario throws to second. In there. That's a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's the catcher to hit, Bo Naylor. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one finds the zone and a count one and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. and misses it's a strikeout so one hit is all they get on now to the bottom of the fourth we're tied nothing nothing And stepping in is the speedy Pete Crow Armstrong. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Going to count one and two. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much crown, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. 
And a 1 2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Went right after him there, Siggy. No messing around. Three pitches right there. Three really good fastballs in that at bat. But what stood out is all of them in a different part of the zone. He started them away. You look out over the plate as a hitter, and then he busts you in. You're not quick enough to be able to pull the trigger and turn on it. And then he finished up in the zone. Good velocity. Caught the top part of that strike zone. That's a great example of how you mix your locations. Just as important as mixing speeds. The 2 1. Hammer down the line. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. One out, runner at second. Now batting Jamer Candelario. And now two and one. One out and a runner at second. This one in the air right field. Gonzalez trying to get there. Makes the grab on the run. Runner tagging for third. And he's up to third safely with two gone. The right fielder, number four, Alexander. Canario. Now the Cubs' four hole hitter, Alexander Canario. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Center field. Loriano sprinting after him. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. He's in safely at second as a run scores. Big RBI for him right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Number 40, the next to hit. Goal for one, popped out foul to the catcher his first time off. The 1-1. One, one. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. The 1-2. And down on strikes he goes. Good job at damage control right there. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. Here at Wrigley Field, here's the third baseman, Tyler Freeman. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. What a stop. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Now back, second baseman, Jose Tena. And up next for Cleveland, Jose Tena. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Popped up. Mastroboni should have this one. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Now batting. Left fielder. Steven Kwan. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Steven Kwan digs in for the Guardians. The pitch. Base knock center field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. 
There's a ball, and that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. The 2-1. Swing and a foul straight back. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's some real power at the plate. Patrick Wisdom. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The 1-1. One, one. And now 1 and 2. Pitch misses two there. Two, two balls, strikes. two strikes. And another and ball. Four. Kicks and deals. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Gonzalez settles under it and makes the catch. One down. Now batter, the first baseman, Jared, Jared Young, the next Young. Cub to hit. He's over one. Come on, Cub. And a one one. And a strike in there. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Oh. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. The wind of the pitch. Can't lose, ball. Gets a piece and stays alive. 3-2 now. Got him swinging. Now batting. Catcher. Now the Cubs catcher, Miguel Amaya. Went down on strikes his first time through. Here we go, the wind to kick the pitch. Here we go, Here we go. Swing and a base hit. Two outs, runner now at first. So up now for Chicago, Miles Mastroboni. Mastroboni. Come on, Tommy. Please wave, guys. Check swing, no appeal, and it's two and one. That one missed. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. <laughs> 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup, and now Pete Crow Armstrong. And the right-hander deals. Popped up left side. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Cubs strand a couple, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Back here at the ballpark, and now the first baseman, Josh Naylor.
That pitch gets the inside corner. That's strike two. Action in the pen down there. Adbert Alzala throwing and getting ready for David Ross. Duffy getting loose as well. And here it comes. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Loriano comes up to hit. Kicks and fires. Swing it a foul straight back. The one two. On the ground to short. Slings to first. Two up, two down. Oh, boy, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Stepping up for the Guardians, Oscar Gonzalez. And the pitch. Just off the outside edge. That one's in there, and that is strike two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ryan Rocchio next to bat for Cleveland. The kick, the 3 2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A solo shot, and we are starting over. It's 1-1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Justin Steele done for the night, and a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Mark Leiter Jr. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Brian Rocchio digs in for the Guardians. Here's a 1 1. On the ground right side. Oh, he gloves it. Gathers and throws. It's there, and that's a great play. Solo homer to tie it for Cleveland. All even at one apiece. Back here at the friendly confines. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Christopher Morell. That nope. misses the zone, and it's two and one. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Cal Quantrill up and throwing for Terry Francona. Morgan warming up as well. Hey. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. Next pitch misses, and now it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. 
right hander kicks deals high fly ball out into left center field snags it on the run and there's one down the designated hitter number nine Jay Hurd. And here's the DH for the Cubs, Jamer Candelario. The 2 1. And there's a ball. Almost 100 pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. That one's in there, and it's three and two. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And he walked him. Ball four. No, very close with the location right there. It's just tough to get rewarded on the call with pitches near the top of the strike zone. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Lucas Giolito will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Cal Quantrill into the game. Now pitching for the Guardians. Number 47, Cal Quantrill. One down. Alexander Canario getting ready to hit. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Quattro back to work. Swing and a miss. One and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Out to center. Right there is Loriano. And there's two down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Here's the left fielder, number 40. Quattro back to work. And another ball. And now it's even up. Righty delivers. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So two on with two away. Patrick Wisdom, the next cup to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now the catcher comes up to him. Bo Naylor. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. And that's outside. Here comes a pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. So up next, Tyler Freeman. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Ground ball could be two. Zips it across. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. 
second base. Here's the second baseman, Jose Tena. Strike two. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. The one two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Two and one now. On the ground right side. That ends the frame. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on. Seventh inning stretch time. All tied 1-1. One, one. So up now for Chicago, Jared Young. The first baseman, Jared Left-hand hitter waits. Pitch misses, and a count two and one. Good eye right there. Three balls, one strike. Shoots a line drive single into right center. A leadoff single, and the go-ahead run is aboard. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's the catcher, Miguel Amaya. And a pitch. Inside just missed. Miles Mastroboni waiting for a turn at the plate. The 3 1. Hit hard. That gets through. Throw holds him at second, but the go ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think you'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Quattrill ahead, one and two. In the dirt. Now the tag at third, and they got him. Wow, that's a tough one. Uh, you kind of feel bad for the base runner right there. It's just a brutal mistake, and you can tell his teammates are a little disappointed. He's already in scoring position. He's the potential winning run. You've got to be smarter than that out on the base paths. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Back to the mound. Toss to Naylor. Two away. Good two-seam action right there. Running away from the batter. Rolled over it. Got the ground out. Pete Crow Armstrong. The next cup to hit. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored this guy is a big contributor Christopher Morrell in the on deck circle hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here the 3 1 the right hander gives up the two out walk first and second two outs and up next for Chicago, Christopher Morrell. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Falling behind two and one. 
Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch off the play. And that's ball three. Jamer Candelario to bat next. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. On the ground to first. He'll do it himself. And we stay tied as the inning ends. Cubs strand a couple. Score remains deadlocked at one. Adbert Alzola comes on now. Now pitching for the Chicago Cubs, number 73, Adbert Alzola. And now the DH, Jose Ramirez, one for three. And he deals. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. The one two. Uh oh that got him and the potential winning run is aboard. Uh, it's not exactly what they're going for when they say one up one down. Josh Naylor now at the plate known for his late inning heroics. The go ahead run aboard at first nobody out. And strike two. Strike three, got him swinging. First out in the top of the eighth. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Ramon Laureano, who's the first. One away, tie game. Go-ahead run stands at first. On the corner at the knees for a strike. A 2-2. Two -two. Strike three. Throws him with the front door slider. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. So in now for Cleveland, Oscar Gonzalez. He's already homered in this game. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Cut on and miss. And the throw gets away. I think a good throw to second base has a chance to catch him right there. So that's a throw he's going to walk back behind the dish. And you roll the dice when you send the runner. But oftentimes you're trying to force some action. And it worked out great for him right there. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Young steps on the bag, out number three. One left for the Guardians. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. A 
down to the bottom of the eighth. And here is Jamer Candelario. The pitch. What? Swing and a miss. Two and two. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. Foul ball. Another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And a pitch. A swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Alexander Canario will hit next. Broken bat, roller to first. Naylor takes it to the bag, and that quickly two away. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Number 40, the next cup to hit. 2-2. Two -two. Outside. Patrick Wisdom would be next. Big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. Three and two now. Line drive. Brings it in for the third out. And the Cubs are down in order. Score remains tied 1-1. here at Wrigley Field. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now here is Brian Rocchio. The pitch. That misses. Three balls and a strike. Bo Naylor on deck for the Guardians. The pitch. And that's a strike. 3-1 count, saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get-me-over breaking ball to bring the count full. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. The pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Three balls, two strikes to count. Got him looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Next to hit, Bo Naylor. Next offering is fouled back. Two-two now, and now it's filled up. Tyler Freeman in the on-deck circle. Lifted in the air, right field. Makes the catch, and there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. So here's Tyler Duffy onto the mound. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now pitching for the Cubs, number 65, Tyler Duffy. And up next for Cleveland, Tyler Freeman.
Next offering upstairs. The two on is high. Jose Tena next to bat for Cleveland. That one hit to right. Canario drifts towards it and makes the grab. And that is that. So they go quietly there. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. All tied 1-1. Welcome back. Bottom of the ninth. Now the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. The wind of the pitch. <laughs> Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Emmanuel Classe getting loose out there. Now a rip into left center. Loriano makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Digging in, Jared Young. Check swing. Did he go? No. And that's a check swing and a ball in the dirt. And it's three and two. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now and here's the catcher, Miguel Amaya. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. So the ball really well today. That two-seam fastball has got good run on it. Excellent job of moving it around the plate. The next pitch misses, and it's two and two. That one the other way, and foul ball. Next offering misses. And now three and two. Miles Mastroboni waiting to hit for the Cubs. Payoff pitch. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Wrigley Field. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Tena. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Righty to the plate. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Shane Green is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Number 48 getting cranked up as well. Runner leads away at second. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now at the plate, Stephen Kwan. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. In the air, left side. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two away.
Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. That pitch in for a strike. And it's one and two. Two down. Go ahead run at scoring position. Fly ball, right field. Canario gets there. He's under it. And that is the third out of the inning. New pitcher on here, Ronaldo Lopez. Number 40, Ronaldo Lopez. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Here's the second baseman, Miles Mastroboni. The 1 1. Swings through that one. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Emmanuel Classe appears to be getting loose. Left-hand batter waits. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. And that'll fall for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical. and You want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there will be some second guessing for sure. So the batting order turns over. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next cup to hit, bunts it back towards the pitcher. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so 